everybody, I'm Michelle with Birdie Bloom and today I am going to talk about the Sonoma line flat pack. And I'm talking about it because my other planned videos, they're not really getting done right now. Um, so yeah, my controversial video is going to have to wait. Um, but I have had this bag for a bit, this particular, actually I've had this one even longer, but this one I bought thinking I would want it for myself. Um, I've had it for a bit and so I've only recently started actually using it to see if I like it. And I thought I would like it because it's kind of like you can cross body this bag and, um, and kind of almost wear it like a backpack, but it's large and it's large like a backpack as opposed to my other crossbody bag, which is just like a waist pack, you know, it's a lot smaller. And I thought I would really like this because I don't like the backpacks. I thought I would, I have a lot of backpacks that I kind of need to get rid of actually, cause I don't use them. I don't like the double strap backpack, but um, I'm liking this. Um, it's a little weird. And I'm gonna do something at the end of the video when I'm trying them on to kind of like um, maybe counter that and see what happens. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you all about it. So what we have, the Sonoma line, just to remind you, came in two different leathers, okay? This is Nubuck and this is Natural Grain. And here is a catalog photo. Sonoma line features two richly textured weather and stain resistant leathers. A lot of people don't know that. I call these my rain bags because they are weather and stain resistant. A lot of people are afraid. I don't necessarily take my new book bags out in the rain. I mean, but I'm not super scared about it. I actually will spot clean my duffel sack, my new book duffel sack that I have in um, spruce green. I've shown that bag many times. I spot clean it with water wipes um, because I use it a lot and it does get dirty and it works out great. And I'm going to talk about uh, Nubuck Leather Care as well, Nubuck and Suede Leather Care in this video, so stay tuned for that. So, um, but yeah, we have these two bags, totally rain bags. This one in particular, this type of leather. I also have um, Sonoma bags in this leather and uh, my go-to when it's pouring down rain, 100%. So, um, yeah, we've got both of these. Again, the new book is that soft, velvety, suede feeling. It can be really pebbled as you see here, but it also can be pretty smooth as you see on this part of the bag. Isn't that interesting? And it kind of looks like um, velvet, you know, because depending on how you're brushing it. The color here is bramble. Um, no, sorry, I was wrong. Bramble's actually brown. There is a bramble. I misspoke. It's elderberry. And for the longest time, I actually thought it was grape. Cause there are two, it's like a, this is like burgundy, but purplish. Um, there is a grape uh, Sonoma color. We're gonna go over some of the Sonoma colors too. They're actually very confusing, but I have both. I have a grape and I have an elderberry. So this one for sure is elderberry and this one is great. Stay tuned for us going over that a little bit more, but it is flat, hence the name flat pack. I'm gonna put this one down. This one needs some cleaning. Uh, yeah, let's go over this bag. So it's a 49.44 um, flat pack Nubuck. That's the name. Again, and this one is a 49.17 flat pack natural grain. Just to remind you a little bit about the Sonoma line, um, it came out in 1994. And at first, and that was like autumn of 1994, and initially it was just Nubuck. They just had the one leather. But then later in 1994, so we're talking about fall, autumn, 1994, not much longer, Holiday Catalog introduced the second leather in this line, and that was the natural grain. So originally, yeah, it was just new butt, which I think is interesting. And it looks like they kind of ceased production in 1997. 1997 was the last year. Whether that's true or not, I don't know for 100% certainty. If you know that to not be true, because perhaps you have a bag from 1998, 1999 from the Sonoma line, please drop me some information below. Always correct me if I have misspoken. So yeah, in 1994, the Sonoma line, new book came out with some bags. The flat pack though was not introduced until 1995. So it was new in 1995, 49, 44. 
Um, they described it as contoured and casual. It features that stain resistant fabric lining. Let's talk about that. A lot of people, especially if you're newer to Vintage Coach, you hear this misinformation that's spread that Vintage Coach isn't lined. So there's no Vintage Coach bags that are lined. If you see it, it's not vintage, right? That's not true, that's not true. And there's also unlined bags that were remakes of the Vintage line that Coach didn't line um, from like 2011 that are not vintage technically, but they are very vintage-esque. It's just not technically that vintage leather. So keep that in mind. But that lining is that striped lining. Sorry, there's something on there. It is uh, stain resistant, water resistant, easy to clean. Most of the bags in this line, that lining just pulls out and you can empty it really easily and clean it really easily. I obviously have some things in here. This uh, tag is split, easy fix. I have a video on how to fix a um, split tag. It happens, it's normal. It doesn't mean the bag isn't real, just FYI. Another thing that you might hear that's misinformation. Uh, I was gonna actually repair this for this video, but I have too much to talk about. So I'm not gonna do that. Check out the other video on how to easily repair a split hang tag if you need to, okay? Um, but what else do I have? Oh, um, there's a reinforced bottom. So most likely cardboard, okay? Reinforced bottom. And then otherwise it's just very like slouchy. It's just leather, oh, so lovely. And it's pretty thick, um, not the lightest, but it's not super heavy either. It measures 11, I probably at this, by 17, and then by six inches. It can go, I guess, as wide as six inches. And that's what I'm gonna do at the end of the video. I'm gonna show you this bag flat, like how I've been actually carrying it because I don't have that much in it. And then I'm gonna just stuff it with other things, pretending like, you know, it's, you know, that type of weather where my kids might be warm one minute and then cold the next. And so I might have like sweatshirts in here for them and their waters or whatnot. We'll stuff it with stuff. But um, yeah, um, 34 inches, uh, just 34 inch adjustable strap. So you got two places to enter. So the main compartment of this bag, what's going to eventually stuff it is uh, the zippers on the back. And this is another feature of I need to clean this, I haven't um, cleaned it. It's actually, the leather's in pretty good condition, but this hardware, it looks like it's tarnished a little bit here and I could um, fix that up, but not a big deal. Anyways, that is the Sonoma, uh, that's a Sonoma pull tag that you find on Sonoma bags. That's common and also on the small leather good items. Right now, this is a vintage coat. It has dry rot though, and um, the rest of it is so lovely. I love this thing. I'll probably talk about it. I don't want to open it. It's a lot of uh, probably personal information in there. But look at that grain. I love this thing. I'm a, a paper calendar person. So I have a calendar that I got off Etsy that I put in here. We'll talk about it eventually. I love it. Probably need to replace it and then like repurpose that leather for something because, yeah, it came, the binding came dry rotted and, you know, that's going to just get more and more fragile. Oh, um, in here right now I have my little um, repurposed item made by Brenda Gee. Um, she's in the Facebook group. She does, she takes vintage coach leather that's pretty rough. Have I talked about this on this channel? So this is a burgundy rough out. She flipped it around. The bag was not originally a rough out. But as you can see, there's a lot of fading. This is probably a stitch line where something was covered. There's a lot of fading. Look at those striations, it's beautiful. Making the bag look almost like brown. I don't know the full extent of what the injuries to the um, bag were, but she repurposed it and I love this little thing. It's so cute. I love the way it feels too, because I obviously love that um, raw leather. I love the, the new book suede type stuff. I have keys in here. I have that in the wrong pocket. Anyways, sorry. So big open space here. And then in the front, you have another little zipper. It also has that pull, that zipper pull there. That's just a little pocket. And this is where you're gonna find the um, creed for this bag. Here is a better photo. We'll talk about it. Um, this is what it says. And 
This can change slightly amongst the years, but if the bag is Nubuck, it should say Nubuck in it. If it doesn't, well, there are errors um, where it has not. Um, and there's also errors, creeds where a bag might say it's Nubuck that are, and these are authentic and it's actually not Nubuck. So always have somebody look at it because it could be an error, but it also could be counterfeit. So anyways, this says, this is a coach bag. It is made of the finest natural Nubuck cowhide. This leather is tumbled to provide a distinctive texture with natural variations, exceptional durability, and water resistance. Made in the United States. This was in June of 1995. And I've mentioned this before, but if you don't remember, Sonoma, the whole Sonoma line was either made in the United States, Costa Rica, or Italy. And Italy bags are fun to come by because not a lot of lines were made in Italy. Um, and you can find a lot of uh, vintage coach Sonoma bags made in Italy. So love that. I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna put this in here. Hold tight. I'm gonna put oh, my very worn vintage coach key wallet love this thing yeah i just snap it with the kind of keys out and then i stuff the key in there that's how i do that ear pause i'm gonna put all of those easy access things that i want easy access uh, easy access to in the front pocket okay so i'm gonna try this one on oh i don't have it zipped well i don't need it there's nothing in there right now but i'm going to stuff stuff on oh so it does say shoulder strap so you can wear it over your shoulder and that's kind of, I just feel like when it's flat, it kind of just looks blah. And that's what I was talking about. And that's how I've been wearing it, at least over my shoulder. And I do often grab and go, I've noticed, and just put it over my shoulder. But what I like about it is that it can be cross-bodied. I have plenty more room to cross-body it. And this is how it looks flat cross-bodied. A little better, right? But it's still pretty blah flat, right? It's just kind of weird. So let's stuff it. Let's see what happens when we actually stuff it full of things. I'm not gonna put my other stuff in there right now. I'm going to just stuff it, hold on. So basically I put a blanket in here, but like baby wipes, clothes, water bottles, whatever. I put some stuffed animals in there too. Just stuff it a little bit and see what happens here. Oh, we have more room because then this part opens up. Let's see if we just stuff it all the way. Let's just, oh my. Hang tag's getting caught here. I need more, hold on. Found a frog, found a frog. Let's stuff that in there. Just going around, you know, picking up all the toys that are strewn around the floor. Okay, that's pretty stuffed, a little interesting. Let's see what it looks like. Mm-hmm, okay, okay. Well, hmm. that's, uh, it's quite stuffed. Oh, okay. Definitely need, oh, kind of cute little shape. Let's just put it over my shoulder at this length, see what happens. Oh, it looks better. Interesting, that's kind of cute. Actually feels pretty decent too. Like, hmm, I don't mind that. Interesting, okay, let me um, lengthen it a little bit more because I think I need to in order to crossbody it. Okay. And this is the strap, or this is how it's adjusted. Let's put her on. Oh, stuffed and see what she looks like stuffed, cross-bodied. And actually, I don't mind it. I mentioned in the Facebook group, I um, showed this bag, that I took it um, camping. Now, when I say I took it camping, I put stuff that I needed to do like while we're driving camping. Um, just some essentials, some things I wanted to work on. I put them in that bag, but I did not keep this bag in a tent. I didn't go hiking with it or anything. Um, even though it is pretty resilient, I didn't do that. In fact, I had it in the tent for a moment um, when we were leaving the truck somewhere, when we were going kayaking um, and tubing. I didn't want to leave it in the truck because we were leaving the truck. So I had put it in the, um, the tent. 
However, even though my tent was dry, another person that we were with, they did wake up to a wet tent. <laughs> and I was like, I don't want to risk it. So um, even though I'm not so much afraid of getting water on them, I don't want to like intentionally put them in a position to get like saturated in water. So not the new buck anyways. So I, um, yeah, I put it back in the car. But that was a long story. I, I don't mind this. I like this. I think this bag is a keeper for me. Again, I, I really thought I was going to like backpacks and I, and I don't, I don't grab them, but, um, for at least a little while, I'm going to continue to use this. And I think, I think I'm going to keep it. Oh, sorry. That was a lot of talking. Um, yeah, so she's stuffed. I'm not going to worry about unstuffing her now. I wanted to talk. Okay. So we've talked a little bit about elderberry. Elderberry, um, was the Sonoma colors are crazy guys. They're crazy. And therefore, I have decided to dedicate a video to just the Sonoma colors. So forgive me, we're not going to talk about the Sonoma colors in this video. So it's really important when people ask about what color is my bag? You know, if you really want to know the true color of your bag, it really helps to provide a creed photo because what people who like to try to figure that out do is they're going to look at the year of manufacturing for your bag. Remember, Coach could produce bags a year prior, um, or you know, the year prior to actually when the bag was introduced. So if you're wanting to know the color of your bag, provide a picture of the bag and natural sunlight is the best. Also, if it is a bag that is unlined, a uh, um, picture of the natural, the suede, the underside of the bag or the inside of the bag, that is also helpful. Again, a natural sunlight. Also a picture of the stitching, especially when it comes to tan colors, that is helpful. And a picture of your creed because the creed gives information that um, helps people. So, you know, I actually thought this bag was originally great just looking at it, I wasn't thinking, I thought it was grape, and I realized, no, actually, it was made too early for grape, it is elderberry, and then I happened to notice I had a grape. You know, small little cutie, let's just look at them close up. I think I'll post a picture of them side by side too, by the way, and post that in my Facebook group. Maybe I should show you um, this bag on, and, and then we're gonna talk about uh, suede and new butt care. So, this is a 4946, Sonoma small flat bag in new bug. Maybe I'll talk about it again because there is a larger flat bag, but since I have her, let's just try her on. Okay. I have her strap. I, I'm not going to talk too much about her right now. We're just going to try her on since she's here. She is cute. What a fabulous color. I'll go ahead and crossbody her. I would probably wear it a little longer crossbody just in case we're here. And then we're going to do a little leather care. Okay, that's cute. Okay, so how do you care for your um, your Sonoma leather bags? Uh, particularly, I'm sorry, your Nubuck or your suede leather? Well, here's a picture of um, what Coach recommends, and it happens to be what I also recommend. So um, here, this is a suede and Nubuck care kit. These are the things that come in it a suede um, eraser, oh, this is neat, and a suede brush. Gosh, these bristles are kind of rough. That's a, This is what comes in a care kit. And um, it says, this care kit is an effective way to minimize spots and stains and to rejuvenate the finish of your Coach Suede and Nubuck leather products. Make sure the area to be treated is dry. That's important. For light cleaning, use the pink side of the cleaning bar. Gently rub soiled area with a back and forth motion. Then use the brush to remove residue and revitalize the nap of the leather. For stubborn stains, lightly wet a corner of the gray side of the cleaning bar with water and gently rub the soiled area. Allow the treated area to dry completely. That is important. Do not brush a wet suede or new buck bag. Then you brush away when it's dry, you brush away residue. 
repeat process if necessary. So patience and time. And um, I also would like to recommend adding just a horse hair brush. So I do find that these brushes, this is my, one of my um, Nubuck uh, and suede cleaning brushes from Coach. And here is a used eraser, suede eraser. But I also recommend just using a horse hair brush to brush out the leather. So why is that important? Well, dirt, oils, all sorts of things can get trapped in the leather. And um, when you when they're trapped in the leather and then they're used, they're kind of getting rubbed in. So this is just really, it's brushing out any dirt that might be there. Something that's interesting about this bag, um, it does not smell at baseline. It Like here, I don't smell it, but I was just brushing it. I'm like, ooh, I'm getting an odor. Um, it's not a bad odor. It's like a perfumey or odor. Let me. Yes. So while I'm brushing this bag, it does not smell. Well, it does now because I was brushing that. It didn't smell at baseline. Like it doesn't smell in the back right now. But if I brush it, yes, I'm I'm smelling the perfume that's trapped inside this bag. Isn't that interesting, huh? So, um, but you just just brush. Brush with a soft brush first, and then see what you got. And because a lot of this leather is pebbled, that's why I don't like to get super aggressive initially with the um, suede brush. Just sometimes this is enough. What is on here? Did I set this on something wet? I might have, this was not there, so I think that's just some wet. I'm gonna stop brushing that area. Again, don't brush when it's wet. I must have had something on my counter because I don't think that was there. Yeah, and you're just, just gonna brush, 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 brush. And then if you see an area, it's just so pretty. Look at the pebbles. Oh, I love new book leather. If you see an area after you've done that, and I have not completed it, um, but if you see an area that bothers you, let's see. Like for example, this is a little darker of an area. That's when you're gonna go in with your pink um, suede eraser and you're gonna just kind of rub gently back and forth. Kind of trying to erase the stain essentially. I've talked about this a little bit. I have a video that's how I like to get ink marks out that are on the inside of a bag, so which is like suede. I've shown you that. It really does help. You just want to be patient. So, okay. So we've, I don't know if we've done enough there, but I might even go in with a regular brush, but you know what coach recommends is using this brush, which is going to be a little bit more aggressive. So also better at getting out trapped dirt, honestly, but you may rub out some of those pebbles. That's the only reason I'm like, be a little bit more careful with this brush on the Pebbly, pebbly new bag, unless you don't care to rub them out. But this bag, obviously, along the lines, it's already kind of has um, like rubbed areas. It just happens with wear. So I don't know. I would probably repeat it, but it's definitely a little bit better. But that's what you do. Okay. You just go in to certain areas. And then along, I might try to like revitalize the nap here. So I see that the pebbles are kind of worn. It's actually already revitalizing it. Look at, you see, that's kind of like, um, it's lifting it. So it might've been flattened down and just doing this kind of gives it that um, velvet texture back where you can brush the nap. I don't know if you can, there you go. Maybe you can see there, you see? It's, that's what you want. You don't want it to like, be stagnant you want to be able to like rub your finger across it and change the nap so here oh it's doing it anyways yeah that's a quick overview on how i like to manage my new bucks and suede so that kit that i had that i showed you um it's actually that's a little newer it's from the early 2000s it comes from i have it it's for sale essentially with a bag that i have in my closet um, I haven't really added mini bags to my closet because I do actually hope to open up my own shop soon. Just another thing that's going to take time and that I haven't gotten around to yet. But I do have that and I'm surprised it hasn't sold. It's like one of those little armpit hobo bags and it's bright yellow. 
Um, and, but it's a larger one. It's actually one of my favorite styles when it comes to those armpit hobos that are so popular right now. I'm surprised it hasn't sold. It's such a cute bag. But that is in my closet with um, that new butt kit. That bag is actually um, new with tags. When I say that, I mean, yeah, it's not been used, but it's been sitting around. It's also very old, um, very old, whatever, 20, 30 years. Um, this bag, ironically, I, you know, I, I showed the Creed, but it's uh, the Creed shows that it was made in June of 1995, which is when I'm doing this video, June of 1995. So it is this month, 29 years old. Isn't that fun? Kind of cool, right? Oh yeah. It's like a little bear to hug. I love this thing. Okay. Well, I think I said everything I wanted to say. You know, I didn't really get to, I sort of kind of got into the colors. It's complicated. Sonoma colors are complicated. All colors can be complicated, but um, at least for me, uh, I hope you like this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more Vintage Coach Bag Talks. I'm going to try to work on putting out more videos. Sorry I haven't been around. I'm, summers are busy, but thanks for your support, and I appreciate you guys. Come join Vintage Coach Eye Candy if you are not already in that group. Bye-bye.